And Britt Reed begins the Green Hornets evening in three. I'm certain that Bruce Wayne, slippery stamp dealer, and the foreman of the pink chip stamps factory are the same man, Cato. Involving a counterfeit stamp ring we're trying to crack? And undoubtedly knowing something about the missing Gotham Gothic. And I have a feeling that Batman and Robin are going to be on our tails tonight, making our task that much more tricky. How so? Well, to the world at large, they're known as the Caped Crusaders, fearless crime fighters. Whereas, due to the nature of our operation, the same world at large looks on us as criminals. Only a very few know different. <laughs> sure does sound tricky. So I'll turn my hornet's down to half maximum power. I don't want to get careless and hurt Batman if we clash. So well, you always have your gas gun. Right. Nothing will stop us from gaining our ends. What's up, Batman and Green Hornet fans? Or should I say, Robin and Kato fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we have a special request from our super subscriber, Mr. Brad, a.k.a. the Kretzky Card King. We wanted to see a video on Cato and Robin and the whole episode of the crossover episode with Green Hornet and Batman, which was one of the coolest Batman episodes of all time. It was a two-part uh, two-part episode uh, that came out in uh, March of 1960, 1967. It was March 1st and 2nd of 1967, and it was named. I've been doing my research, guys. It was named. The first episode was named "A Piece of the Action," and the second episode was named Batman's Satisfaction and Batman's Satisfaction that episode that was the one when Kato and Robin and Green Horton and Batman were going to square off and fight and you know everybody wanted to see that episode because we were all curious could Kato how would Kato do against Robin and more or less how would Robin do against Kato uh, Kato is played by a uh, famed martial arts actor, uh, world-renowned, even to this day, uh, Bruce Lee. And Burt Ward played Robin. But what people really didn't know, I did my research, is that Burt Ward was a uh, studied Taekwondo. So he was, a, he was a martial artist in his own right. I would have loved to see uh, who would have won that fight, though. Kato or Robin. And the legend has it is that the scene called for Batman and Robin to actually win, win the fight. Well, actually, the scene called for Kato to lose to Robin, really. And... They said Bruce Lee actually walked off the set because he couldn't see himself losing to Robin. So they rewrote the script where uh, the Green Hornet and Kato fought Batman and Robin to a draw. <laughs> and that's how the legend goes. And we had a, a surprise here. Uh, we did a, a, a video earlier on our Kato uh, Captain Action uh, Kato figure and we told you the story of how we found uh, our Kato figure and that we couldn't find our Green Hornet figure well we we uh, we did some hunting some toy hunting and we tracked down our awesome uh, Captain Action Green Hornet figure so let's let's bring him down I know uh, Brad aka 
the uh, Kresge Car King wasn't planning on seeing our uh, seeing uh, Green Hornet, so we wanted to kind of we wanted to kind of surprise him. And once again, um, this box is gorgeous, as you can see. Uh, this was a um, a KB Toys exclusive. Now you could see where somebody obviously took that KB Toys exclusive sticker off of uh, Kato's box, but it's here on our Green Hornets box. And the Green Hornet to me was really cool. Uh, William Dozier uh, said in a uh, an interview years ago or I should say decades ago, that uh, he wanted a Green Hornet, that that TV show, to stand on its own. It wasn't going to be a, anything linked to Batman. And yet, it, it ultimately, they merged both, uh, uh, both of those genres with Green Hornet and Batman actually squaring off with one another, which I thought was cool. But he wanted Green Hornet to stand on his own and the, the the show to stand on its own it didn't last very long it lasted for a year uh it was canceled in uh late 1967 so i never got to its second season but captain action and playing mattis actually did a a phenomenal job i love this this artwork you can see how beautiful this box is a c10 museum example this is a figures from 1998 and you can see how beautiful you can still see the sheen gloss on this this box and let's take a look at our our captain action green hornet there's the famous gas gun He's got his own gas mask. He doesn't want to gas himself. <laughs> Here's the incredible uh, suitcase uh, telecom uh, video chat, whatever you want to call that, <laughs> where he can talk to Cato. There's a picture of Cato right there. There's the phone. There's the sting, the Hornet stinger. Got a... Uh, Green Hornet uh, referenced in the uh, opening audio. And here's the beautiful mask, Green Hornet mask. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. All the way from 1998. Guys, if you're just joining us, this is what we do. We take requests. And we have fun. We're hanging out in our museum. And I'm just like a big kid right now. We're just down here having a ball. And I could stay down in this, this my toy museum for, for hours. And we just wanted to give you a shot at, uh, at our Green Hornet today. We got him. Beautifully made, and you can see he's still locked in there pretty good. C10 museum example. I would I would love to see. Let's put him back up here. I would love to see a Mego version, eight inch version of Cato and the Green Hornet, and we've had. Uh, subscribers and viewers say that you know they will love to see that and I, I, I agree with them and here's our beautiful Kresge card removable mask Robin a Emerald City exclusive and I believe only 700 of these were made let's turn it around and, and let's see Yes, we have 394 of 700. 
And this was the rare, often whispered about, ultra rare, yellow sleeve robin. Beautifully done. And I always have to put the, the 1966 robin up there. But that was a just a marvelous, marvelous uh, episode where the Green Hornet and uh, Cato squared off with uh, Batman and Robin. And it left us wanting more. And I would have loved to, to know how the ratings were for that particular, those two particular episodes. Because like the Green Hornet said in the, in the opening uh, audio, they're really known in a concept. I, I, I would have never thought of using that type of concept. Good guys that have to act like they're bad guys. And the world has to know them as bad guys. So that concept was beautiful to even think that and yet they're good guys whereas Batman and Robin the Kate Crusaders were always going to be known as the good guys so you had a lot of the fan base rooting for Batman and Robin even in that episode when they squared off with the Green Hornet and Kato Guys, I want your uh, your take. How do how do you think Robin would have fared against Kato? We want to get the chatter started on that. Kato versus Robin. Robin versus Kato. Who really wins, and why? <laughs> well, guys, I have my opinion, but we want yours. Leave a comment in the comment section right underneath this video. And that's just a, a, a fun little video right here where we just wanted to kind of get the chatter started. Uh, uh, our subs super subscriber Brad had a wonderful idea about putting these guys back together again after all these decades. So all the way from 1967 up until 2018, these guys are sharing a stage again who wins the green hornet versus batman kato versus robin just an awesome concept and we want to thank brad aka the kresge card king uh for this awesome request and once again our our Subscribers and our super subscribers have some of the best ideas ever. I mean, these guys just, I mean, do they just sit around and think this up? It's its phenomenal. These guys, I need to put these guys on a payroll. Brad, I got to put you on a payroll, man. That's just a phenomenal idea. And it's a fun idea, a fun concept to uh, get these guys back together again and let them share the stage one last time. The Green Hornet versus Batman. Robin versus Kato. Who wins and why? And do you even remember that episode? I was too young. I'm, you know, I was born in the 1970s. So I had to see th th that particular episode in reruns. And uh, I watched that episode three or four times for research purposes. And found myself just sitting there in awe of these iconic actors playing these roles and bringing these these awesome superheroes to life. So much fun, so much enjoyment. And guys, we would like to thank you guys for hanging out with us today in our our museum. You know the routine, guys. I want you guys to have an awesome day. More importantly, we want you to grab a beverage from the kitchen, hop on the couch, and tune in to the MIB Master Museum Channel. 
God bless. And keep collecting.